and the little two boys. Yeah, it's all of us. See NorCal. I'm in NorCal. Uh, Tar people all over the, the country. I mean, at least on, talking on YouTube, a lot of YouTubers from all, I mean, Linda from It's a Crime, she's in Canada and she's affected by this case. I mean, all, all the true crime community. Right, and, the and house I'm really happy to traction. I was kind of worried that, you know, because of the demographics that, you know, they would get lost in the shuffle because unfortunately, historically, that's how it's been. But it seems like a lot of people are, are trying to get the word out. People are going on their own to people's houses and doing stuff. I mean, everybody is trying, especially now that we know that certain, like, you know, Cal City doesn't have a lot of resources and stuff. And that's no fault of their own. It's a small town. And I guess we could, all the help that we can get as long as we are not uh, doing speculation. Are you hiding in your car? <laughs> yep. I'm just in my car. I the in the name of Jesus. Make a um, revelation. If those I don't have good internet, so my phone Wi Fi is better. No, no I heard that loud bang that night, Rolly. Yes. Rolly, were you feeling like mods? Am I still adding mods? So uh, do I need they're, to? They're uh, some people were saying not to. No, I feel like they're here. Mods willy nilly. But what where? I don't know. Okay, you guys. Major update. Everybody who watch who's watching, major update on the missing boys. I'll wait for some people to come on. I'm not expecting a whole bunch, but I don't even know how you like share it or whatever. Maybe you guys could share it for me. Yeah, I'm not gone. Um, I took some time off to clear my mind and, you know, get my spirit aligned and right and pray and able to have some time to have some quality time with my kids. We went on a little vacation and God actually led me back to this house. And so let me, um, I don't even know how to switch it over the other way, but, um, Anyways, so I just want to have this documented. Uh, I don't even know if this is public or not. I have my son put it on. I wanted to do a YouTube, but I can't do a YouTube because I don't have enough followers, which I'm not one who is requesting followers. I am a leader, however. Let's make that one for the record right away. Um, I'm also God's daughter. And like my two-year-old says, and if you mess with me, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Anyways, anywho. So today... Um, while doing a live for AV Watchmen, not doing a live, excuse me, uh, just doing kind of like, um, having a little conversation with them, an interview per se, uh, about what's going on with the boys and what kind of information I have. And I actually have been wanting to link up with him because I've been seeing some of the stuff he's doing and I feel like we would work great together. And so while we were in the middle of the live, there's a lady by the name of Noor Jasmine or Noor something. She's another redhead. And so she jumped in and got to asking questions that did not pertain to the boys regarding Rick from um, the, the owner of Greenstone Dispensary, as well as, um, you know, him and his significant other also have a few other businesses in town and they have been a great help to the community and have always been good to me and, and my family and so when she jumped in and started talking about him having any kind of suspicious things going on or whatever just seemed kind of bizarre to me because one whether it's true or not I don't know but number two that had nothing to do with where are the boys like nothing at all Rick and his wife have put up you know a substantial amount of money for a reward to find the boys. They have been out present searching. Um, you know, I've witnessed Rick himself make daily rounds to that house. You know, just, uh, you know, his, his he wants to know where are the boys too. So is his wife. So for that lady to like even try to talk down about him or, or anything like that's why I was like, you know what, enough of this. But the reason why I have ran off the way I did is because I have an eyewitness who had seen what may have not been nothing but a dark bluish dark greenish uh suburban in the casa loma apartments last night driving kind of suspiciously with a weird yellow license plate that spelled out something but he couldn't get 
a good enough eye on it, right? And so that van, that SUV just so happened to drive by the house today while we're out doing the live about 15, 20 minutes in. So I jumped off to go, I mean, I jumped, you know, off the live with them. Plus the interview was pretty much over with as far as I was concerned because I'm not about to down talk, uh, like I said, a businessman who's been nothing but good to me Amen. and my family. And so, you know, uh, but uh, there's been a major update in the case and um, uh a lady actually contacted me. She wants to remain anonymous. She told me that she knows Jacqueline West's mother and that she has information. She either, I couldn't understand her because uh, my Spanish isn't the best, but that she either overheard or saw, I mean, overheard or um, not saw, excuse me, overheard or either lady was talking to her or she overheard her say that the boys are definitely buried underneath the house, not in the backyard, but actually underneath the property. And so um, I don't know if the police have actually searched underneath the house, but, um, you know, I'm not aware of, you know, it, it's funny because the guy, A.V. Watchman, had even asked me if it was going to be, um, if I knew about any secret rooms and kind of towards the beginning of the conversation. And I told him that I didn't know if there was any um rooms because uh, I've never been in the house myself but however uh, the boys are possibly buried underneath the house I called it in and spoke with an officer at 5 5 p.m today and let him know about the tip and I think it should be taken very seriously especially if considering the dogs were reported to have not left the house did not want to leave the house so that means they're there somewhere and if they've searched everything but not underneath the house I think it's time they start digging up what's underneath the house. So I'm back in California City and where are the boys? And I am on a mission to find out where are they, what happened to them, and, uh, and you know, no justice, no peace. Whoever did something needs to um, be held accountable and justice needs to be served. Uh, you know, until we have proof they're gone, I'm remaining hopeful that they are alive and safe somewhere. But wherever they are, you know, there's a hundred thousand dollar reward. And like that has to be enough money, especially right now, for people to want to talk like these little boys need to be found. Like this will not be a cold case as long as I'm alive, because I don't know. I just have been connected with them from the moment it started. So. I'm going to be screaming out, shouting out, where are the boys? Black Lives Matter. No justice, no peace. Their uncle, Jamal Watkins, works for the NAACP. He's actually the vice president of civic engagements. He has a great platform. He helped uh, in the election in 2016 trying to get Hillary elected. He helped in this election and got helped get uh, bidden the Forbidden Harris team elected. And so all I have to say is, why hasn't he used his platform? Because, see, my platform is maybe a few watchers, a few people that, you know, follow what I do. However, this man could get on CNN in a snap of a minute and put his nephew's faces everywhere. He could double that 100000 to 500000 like this. He has, the, he has the means to do so. So why has he not? I don't know. That's my question. Could he come after me for defamation of character? Fine. All I'm saying is this auntie, whether them were my biological nephews or not, I would use my platform if I had it. Because check this out. I'm using the only platform I have, Facebook Live, right now to look for two boys who I have no bio no blood connection to. Because these could be my kids. And things like this matter. So that lady who hopped on uh, when I was being interviewed by A.V. Watchman and thought that she put her two cents in it about whatever corruption scandal she thinks she's making a report on. This is all I got to say. Bitch, where are the boys? Nothing else matters. I could give a damn brat's ass about anything else except where are the boys? Whatever you politicking on, you could keep that for your own YouTube channel. Don't ever, don't post nothing I've said. Keep me off your YouTube channel because I don't agree with you doing. Use a media hoe. Bye.